Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra. In this video, we will be solving lead code 712, minimum ASCII delete sum for two strings. See, this problem is one of the most commonly asked patterns uh, when it comes to interviews. So at the end of the video, I have shared few similar problems which follows the same pattern. Having said that, let's dive into the problem. In this problem, we are given two strings. Say, let the first string be C and the second string be E. And we have to delete some characters from S1 and some characters from S2 in order to make both of them as equal. For example, from this S1, we will be deleting S and making this as EA. Similarly, from S2, we will be deleting T and we will be making this as EA. Now, are both the strings equal? Yes, right. EA is equal to EA. But what did we delete? We deleted S and we deleted T. So, you have to find an answer in such a way that this sum, the ASCII sum of these two is minimum, is minimum. And what is an ASCII? See, every letter is associated with a number and this number is called as ASCII. In simple terms, A starts from one ASCII number, let's keep it as X and Z ends at X plus 25. So, this is how it works. In simple terms, A has lesser ASCII than B and lesser ASCII than C. Now, let's take another example where we are given S1 is equal to delete and S2 is equal to leave. Here, we have multiple options. One is, we can convert both of them to LUCH and LET. That is, we delete D, E, E, E from here and D, E, E from here. That is, D, triple E. And we'll be having LUCH and LET. The other option is, we can have L E E, L E E. Here also we'll be having L E E. Similarly, on the other side, we can have one more string. That is just E E E, E E, and we can also have E. But it is asked in the problem. This has to be the longest string, or the value have the ASCII has to be minimum. For example, if you are converting this to this, and this to this. If you look here, the ASCII for this is lesser than the ASCII required for this string. So our answer will be this string, the ASCII of this string, that is D E E, which is equal to 403. So that will be our answer. Now let's dive into the what are the actual observations we can draw from this example. The first observation that we can draw from this example is we cannot jumble the letters. For example, if we jumble the letters, L E E T can be done, right? L E E T can be done. But the case is we cannot jump on the letters. That is the first thing. The second thing, what are the options at every step we have? At every step we have two options. One is you delete the string from S1 or we delete the string from S2 or if they both of them are equal, for example, L and L are equal, then in that case we will continue. That is, we need not delete any characters, but we can continue, right? So that is the two observations that we can do. One is we are not allowed to jumble. And the second is at every step, we have three options. That is one plus two options, where if both of them are equal, we will not do anything. But if they are not equal, we have two options. One is to delete from S1 and the other is to delete from S2. So if you look here, the main problem, the main problem is reduced to sub problem in a way at every step. That is, you had a very bigger string and at every step we are reducing the size of the string. For example, we had delete and we had lead and we say we decided to remove D. Is the string length of the string decreasing? Yes, right. So if we go on, we will arrive at a case where both of them will be empty or one of them will be empty and that will be our base case. So what we are doing here is we have a main problem and we are dividing the main problem into sub problems. And let's look at this further by drawing a tree, right? What are the options that we have? Our D, let's start from the reverse order. That is, we'll be starting from the last character. Are E and T equal to each other? No, E and T are not equal to each other. So we have two options here. Either we will be deleting E or we will be deleting T. So if we delete E, what is the option? We will be having remaining D, E, L, E, T and lead will be the same. Similarly, if you look here, delete will be the same, but Lee is uh, lead is re reduced by T. So it will be T plus whatever is the answer of these two strings. Now, this, we will not be writing two options here because we have only one option here because 
T and T are equal. If T and T are equal, we will just remove one character from both of them and we will not add anything to this. Similarly, again E and D are same. So it is just E and D, E, L and L, E. But if you see here, it is again reduced to two of the sub problems. One is you can delete L from D, E, L or we can delete E from L, E. So it gets reduced to these options. Finally, we arrive at a point where we don't have one of the strings where we don't one of the strings when one of the strings is empty all we have to do is add the other string to the ascii code we will add the ascii of the entire string to our answer and this completely will be our answer for this particular step this is not the minimum answer you have to reach a base case for every of them i have not written the base case for every of them and we will choose the minimum of them or what we can say is from here we have two options we have two options which option are we choosing we choose a path say for example from this path we have 368 and from this path we have 375 which one are we choosing we will be choosing this path right so that is the option that we are choosing we choose a path whichever has the minimum sum and if you look here there are many multiple things that are repeating here if you look here d e l and l we already calculated here what will be the ascii of d e l comma l what is required to calculate it again so can we store it somewhere and yes we can store it somewhere which can be characterized by i comma j that is the string that we are considering for now of s1 and s2 so s1 will be characterized by i and s2 will be characterized by j what does it mean d e l e t for example we have i is equal to 3 what does it mean we are considering this character i is equal to 3 similarly j will be for s2 so that is what now what we are essentially doing is we will construct a dp table which is to store based on i and j's so the length of i or the length of this thing will be equal to the length of n and this will be equal to length of n right n plus 1 and here m plus 1 and here it will be n plus 1 so the dp will also be of the same length and what we are doing is essentially we are calling the function from here function from here but it has two options one is this option and one is this option it will choose the best from this option or this option but we still don't know what are the options left for this if you look here if you look here this option is straight away will be equal to this option why because t and t are equal and we have to reduce it so what happens is we start filling the table from this side and actually we start calling the table from this side but the initial value will be from here only somewhere here the initial values will be and the table finally gets start filling from this side to this side this is the top down approach let me share the code for top row top down approach and let me then discuss the bottom up approach and this will be the code for bottom top down approach what we will be doing we have the main function and we have a helper function what we are doing this is the base case when one of the string is empty we are just giving the ascii of the remaining string that is the other string similarly if we already have calculated dp of i of j that is it is not equal to zero we'll be just returning the value if not we have three options here this is option one where both of the characters are equal that is s1 of i equals s2 of j in that case what we'll be doing is we will be reducing the character without adding anything to this helper right next we have two more options one is we'll be deleting the character from s1 what we are doing here is we are deleting the character from s1 and we are considering the ascii of s1 why if we delete decided to delete from s1 we are getting the ascii of s1 and we are just calling the helper class same but with i minus 1 similarly the second option is we are doing the same but for s2 and here j will be reduced finally we will return a value which is the minimum of these two calculated values this is the top down approach now let's go for the bottom up approach instead of calling the function from here and start filling it from here what we do is we will fill all of those values and what is the base case we know that base case when both of them are empty our answer will be zero similarly we know this row also and this row also right why because one of the string is empty and the other string is something the only way to convert this string to an empty string is the ascii of this string 
so we will just be adding from this 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 and this similarly here also and every other string is calculated based on the three options that we have so that is what we will be doing but we will be filling in this order that is from left to right and top to bottom we will be filling the and let me share the code for bottom up approach it is a very simple approach we have initiated a dp of n plus 1 and n plus 1 the only simple change here is we have to adjust the indexes and this will be our base cases which is very clear and only thing is we have to adjust this indexes by reducing by minus 1 why because the indexes are not properly targeted right so we'll be ready doing minus one for both s1 and s2 that is if we are considering the current index but the string has to be taken i minus one and j minus one finally we'll be returning the answer whichever is the minimum option will be returning that answer and let me share the similar problems to this problem and we have a dedicated telegram group where we'll be discussing about these problems i have mentioned the telegram link in the description so do consider joining the telegram group these are the four problems having the same pattern where either you will be adding a character or you will be deleting a character from this and this is one of the most commonly asked interview questions so do consider solving this problem and thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe